I want you to go on the internet and do your own study and look at the Oslo Agreement that they have already uh, set into place that lasts for seven years. Look at how they decided that they're going to divide the nations up into ten sections and they're going to have an agreement with Israel of peace for seven years. See, they've already planned this. And God is already warning you, and God is trying to use us for seed, and we will warn them before it's time. Amen. <coughs> because this is plain as the nose on your face, or the nose on my face, which is even more plain. <laughs> Amen. That <laughs> they just got the word. <laughs> so after watching this thing happen. And we see now in the middle of the seven years, this Antichrist is going to come against Israel. They hate the Jews. So the Antichrist is going to say, let's kill off all the Jews then. So when you try to kill off all the Jews, remember in Ezekiel chapter, I mean in um, uh, Genesis chapter 4 verse 22, it says that Israel is the firstborn of God. Is Jesus the firstborn of God or Israel the firstborn of God? Both. Because they're both playing the same role. Remember this? They died in 1945. They were resurrected three years later, just like Jesus. Amen. Three days later. So now, Israel will insist on the planet. Why? Because Israel don't believe in the Messiah. The hardest thing in the world for me to do is witness to Jewish people. It's very hard. Because they've been taught from birth. They don't even call him Yahshua. They call him Yahshua. Because and, and, and it just means that of no significance. They won't even call him Yahshua. Because Yahshua is salvation. So to witness to a Jew. So since they rejected Christ. God says. I have set aside seven years of history. To give back to dealing with the Jews. Right now. Since Jesus Christ has come. And since he has died on the cross, and since he has, he has freed us from, 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 from uh, a sin, and so now Jesus has done his thing, and, and the Jews have rejected him, he says, okay, I'm turning my face away from Israel, and now I'm going to turn it toward the Gentiles. And now we've got black Christians, white Christians, Chinese Christians, African Christians, I mean, you got Christians all over the world that believe in the name of Yahshua because he died for the whole world. Yes. Greatest thing about Jesus Christ, he never died for a specific group of people. He died for the whole world. Yes. So we got all of these Gentiles all over the world accepting Christ. And once all of them accepted Christ, they become what? The bride of Jesus. And God takes his Holy Spirit and presents them up to Christ. Yes. And says, here are the people that believe in you. Yes, yes. Now, this seven years, you cannot imagine how bad it will be. You can't imagine how bad it will be. Turn your Bible over to uh, Revelation chapter 20. Now you remember what Jesus said? He said, the Sabbath day is a rehearsal for me. That means you work for six and then you take a Sabbath day rest for one. A day unto the Lord is how many years? A thousand. A thousand years. Where's that found at? Oliver. Peter 3 8. Second Peter 3 8. Yeah. Uh, Psalms 4. Uh, 90 verse 4 says that a day unto the Lord is like a day that a, 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 a thousand years to the Lord is like a day that just passed. So God's Sabbath day of rest is a thousand years. 
Now let's read this so we can understand. And it says in, in chapter 20, I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key to the abyss, and holding in his hand a great chain. He seized the dragon, the ancient serpent, who was the devil, or Satan, and bound him for how long? Why is God bounding Satan up for a thousand years? Seventh day. Right? Seventh day. Some of us get babysitters. Some of us lock up demons. <laughs> but this is a day of rest for God. He just got it. That's good. <laughs> so, God locked Satan up for a thousand years. It says he threw him into the abyss and locked and sealed it over him to keep him from deceiving the nations anymore until the thousand years were ended. After he, he must be set free for a short time. I saw thrones which were seated, those who had been given authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony for Jesus and because of the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or his image. They had not received the fire chip in their forehead or the fire chip in their head. They came back to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come back to life until the thousand years were over. So God has been counting our days as a thousand years. So now, as I'm counting 6,000 years, you know what year we're on? 5,991. One month away from 92. Seven of these are tribulation years. So you can take your time getting it together if you want, but not me. Amen. I don't play with this. You know why I don't play with this? Because in 1967, God did another dress rehearsal. You know what he did? He had Israel fight a six-day war. In 1967, they fought a six-day war. After six days, they took control of Jerusalem. Yeah. After 6,000 years, who do you think is going to have control of Jerusalem? Jesus Christ and the Jews will be back in their seven. Dress rehearsal. He's just doing things over and over, trying to let the world know, look, this has all been a dress rehearsal. We're getting ready for the real show. Yeah. You're only look. A year away, a year and a half away from the real show. Amen. Amen. Do you think that Satan is playing? No. Nope. Do you think that a one world banking system is for the benefit of mankind? That's what you should be laughing. That is not for the benefit of mankind. Do you think that, you know, I heard people say, you know, I would really love to just get a chip in my hand, then I'm going to have to worry about a wall. Yeah. It's like, what kind of stupidness is that? <laughs> it's like, I would rather, I wish I could just get a chip in my hand or my forehead, then I won't have to worry about losing my medical records. Yeah. And that's where Satan has them. Amen. They're thinking technology. Satan's thinking control. Right. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go back to Revelation chapter 16.
not even thinking about the spiritual implications. 